Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Length Past. It is I, Chris, and welcome back to Digimon Survive. Last episode, the professor fell off the dam. And now, we're searching for his body. Oh, we also defeated Lang uh, Fangmon. But apparently he's still alive. Hmm. We'll see what happens now. Now, we search for the professor. On we go! Oh, there was a canal down here. He might really be okay. Oop. Let's head downstream. He might have been carried away by the flow of water. He might be able to hear us then. Call out for him. Professor! 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 Where are you? Oi! Professor! <laughs> Wait, who said that? That thing might be nearby. Takuma, I'm still... It's okay. I'm just gonna have a look around. I'll be extra careful. He's there, but... Wow, he's really been roughed up. Yeah, he must have got hurt worse than we thought. That's a problem, but... Did that thing just get caught up in the fog? Right. The fog rolled up over its feet and then it couldn't move anymore. Even the monsters are affected by the fog. I wonder why. The fog is scaring me even more. The look, the more I look at it. I apologize about the barking. I get what Suji was saying. Agumon and the others are backing off. Ryu can't even stand the sight of it. Ugh, I'll be right back. I'm scared, of course. I'm scared, of course. We're okay looking at it, but we should keep our distance. We should wait for Fangmon to leave. What was that? Stay away! Don't come any closer! Is that Fangmon freaking out? No, damn it, no! This can't be happening. No. Huh? What? What? The fog. It got Fangmon. It swallowed him up. That was crueler than I thought, than I could have imagined. None of us can even speak. Oh, I was so close to the end of the part last time. Awkward! You're so annoying. Why do you always have to boss me around? Boss you around? I'm just trying to keep you safe. And it's ruining my life. I'm sick of it. Leave me alone. Miu, this is not the time. Look around, would you? This place is messed up! I guess it does seem a little strange. I don't know what happened, but it's been like this since we woke up. As if, as if both of us passing out at once wasn't weird enough to begin with. So I want you to listen to me. 
You are not going off on your own. Oh my god. Stop telling me what to do. You're not the boss of me. Maybe not. But I am your brother. And I'm worried about you. Alright. I forgot. When big brothers get worried, he can do whatever he wants. Or not. Besides, you may be worried, but last I checked, I was fine. Not even a scratch. And you're worried about fainting? Seriously? It never happens. I've now fainted once in my entire life. It's a TV problem. You're being ridiculous. Mew. And sure, maybe we got lost somehow. But don't you think that's kind of exciting? Exciting? What is wrong with you? Uh oh. What was that just now? You think it was an earthquake? No, it keeps happening. It's more like giant footsteps. But they're so loud. It couldn't be another monster, could it? No way. Stop trying to scare me. Right. I'm going to go get a better look. Wait. Kaito, stop. Don't leave me alone. I might have to get closer to the monster. We'll be safer apart. I'll be right back. You stay right there, okay? Don't move. Kaito, don't go. I bet I can get a good view from this tree. I need to at least figure out what's stomping around. But, hmm, I see something moving. What the hell is that thing? Is that what's making all this racket? Its right arm is like a, to a tower of pure muscle. One hit from that thing and I'd be done for. Anyway, now that I know something dangerous is nearby, time to get back to Miu. I swear she's gone. Miu, we're in danger. We've got to get out of here now. Miu? What's wrong? Can you hear me? Come on, this is no time for tricks, Miu. Answer me! Mew. Yeah. Uh, of course she didn't stick around. Morning, Agumon. It's been a bit since I've saved. Morning, Takuma! Hmm, looks like Minoru and the others are still asleep. I wonder if the girls are up. Yeah, I wonder. Wanna go see? Uh, nah, better not. They'll come to the cafeteria when they're ready anyways. After finding Suji and Saki yesterday, we managed to make it back here safe. But it was not ready for the conversation that happened next. But I was not ready for the conversation that happened next. Well, I'm sure we're all pretty worn out. In more ways than one. We should get some rest. Yeah, I can barely stand on my feet. Shuji, what's wrong? Ugh, stay away from me. I'm sorry. Um, wait. Am I missing something? 
You don't expect us all to sleep in here, do you? There's plenty of space. What's the problem? Look at all these nice clean sheets, too. Oh, brother. No, I mean boys and girls in the same room? Oh. Hey, don't worry about it. We've got way bigger problems than that right now. Are you crazy? This is how is this something you expect me to just not worry about? Huh? Girls need privacy. What about when we need to get changed or take a bath? She does have a point. Up until now, I've just been doing all of that somewhere else. What? So you boys had her go off on her own? She had Labradoodlemon. That's awful. Show some consideration. What were we supposed to do if she was the only girl? Huh? What were we supposed to do? Stand, stand there and watch? What the heck? Yeah, you tell him, Saki. Florimon, please do not make things worse. But we never know when we might get attacked. We thought it was safest to stick together. Anywhere in the school would be fine. You didn't deal with a giant spider! Or is that your little deviant little excuse to spy on us when we get changed? Ugh, gross. What? Takuma? No, it, it, it's not It's not like that at all. I, uh, what does she mean, deviant? You don't know, Agumon? It's something that sends us from one thing to, to another. Like a caterpillar that becomes a butterfly. Isn't that right, Kunaimon? Cute. Cute? Wow, you're both really smart. That sounds like evolving. Hehe. <laughs> if there's ever anything you want to know, just ask me. No, I believe in this instance. On second thought, never mind. The point is, we should have separate rooms. Then go sleep somewhere else. You don't need to start a commotion in the group. Just go sleep somewhere else then. You can fight other giant spiders if they happen to show up. Honestly, I hadn't really thought about it, but Saki's right. It seems like an obvious thing to me. <laughs> like it even matters. We're never getting out of here anyways. I feel like we're being wrongly accused here. Look, what do you think, Takuma? Saki has a point. I feel like we've been rude. No, I should have said something. Oh god, Saki is just gonna be a nuisance this whole playthrough, isn't she? Don't blame yourself, AoE. They're the ones who need to apologize. Really, Saki, it's okay. As for where you two should sleep, Haru, can I ask something? How would everybody feel if the girls slept in the music room with Haru and Miyuki? Miyuki's a girl, and Haru's still young. I guess I'd be okay with that. Yeah, me too. Okay, so would it be alright if these two slept in the music room with you? What? But we don't... Hmm. Miyuki's giving Haru some kind of look. Uh, fine. It's okay, I guess. Great. Thanks for a bunch. Did she convince him? She may be on the quiet side, but she is the older of the two. Alright, now seriously, let's all get some rest. Yeah, get the hell out. I want to sleep. Part four, slumber party. Ugh, can't see I expected Saki to jump to that conclusion. Give a guy a little credit. Still, it could be that she's just kicking up a fuss to put on a brave face. We were freaking out about losing everyone, then ran into the professor. 
And then look what happened to him. <sighs> oh, we all agreed to meet in the cafeteria last night, right? Maybe I should head over. Morning, Takuma. Hey, Minoru. Morning. Ugh. Ryu, Suji, good morning to you too. Minaru doesn't exactly look chipper, but these two seem particularly upset. Not that I blame them after what we saw. Yeah, same here. It's just... It doesn't seem right. The professor was the only adult here, and he vanished into the mist. Now it's just us kids, and none of us know what to do. It's no fun if everyone's down in the dumps. Yes. Even my jokester of a partner seems rather disappoint despondent. I wish I could cheer them up. No, don't do that. Can't you read the room? The room? How? You can read rooms? Oh, uh, what? Oh, um, that... It's not what I mean, what that means. Uh, help. Now, now. Aguman doesn't mean anything by it. Are you guys always like this? Such behavior is typical for Aguman. Otherwise, for Kunemon and myself. Labradoodlemon isn't here right now, but she usually keeps Aguman in line. Oh, Okay. Things didn't get so rowdy with us. The professor kept everyone going while Florimon and Saki would encourage me. Yes. From what I saw yesterday, your partner seems rather unreliable. Even though he's the biggest one? Bigger doesn't always mean better. Besides, he seems rather harsh with Lotmon. It, it's not that bad. Well, all of our partners are young. We cannot expect them to be perfect. Oh, 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 oh. It falls to us to protect them and support. <clears throat> it falls to us to protect and support them so they might act properly. I'm going to do this, Professor. Just watch. I'll get everyone out of here. I will. We can't just keep grieving forever. Those tears don't exactly help your argument, Shuji. <clears throat> Minoru, try to appreciate what Suji is going through. He spent a lot more time with the professor, so it's a bigger loss for him. Give him time. I mean, I'd like to, but we kind of need Suji as our leader. After him, the next oldest is Aoi. Oh, and uh, Ryu, I guess. Of those three, Suji's the only real choice. I need to be strong. <laughs> yeah, we definitely can't spend all our time grieving. We need to assess the situation. Now you told me about the school and your supplies. Actually, now that I think about it, how did... You spend the night, Suji. Outside. Yikes, that's rough. No wonder he's been so high strung this whole time. I'd be the same if I spent the entire day running for my life. Alright, let me tell you everything that happened from the beginning. <clears throat> I explained about how we found the school, meeting Agumon and the others. The fight against the spider monster, meeting Haru and Miyuki, and more. Yes, but I'd still say you were the ones playing the hard mode. True. If it hadn't been for the professor, I don't know what might have happened. Just the thought of being hunted down by that terrifying thing. No thanks. What even was that, anyway? It kept bla uh, babbling on about children and sacrifices. 
That fits what the professor had said about the Kinom, uh, Kimonogami and the human sacrifices. Maybe we wouldn't be in the dark like this if we could just ask the guy. Or, I mean, I should probably shut my mouth. Yeah, there's no turning back the clock now. One thing's for sure. There are some weird monsters out there. Not to mention the fog. Yeah, that big wolf just vanished right into it. I wonder what happens if you get swallowed by that fog. I can't say. Agumon and the others want nothing to do with it, that's for sure. Clearly, we'd better watch our step, too. When you're right, you're right. What if there's just copies of... Oh, what if there's just copies of the school and the mountain way out over these ruins? What if this is all just some huge prank? Prank? What, what's a prank? It's this type of joke where you trick people for laughs, especially celebrities. Although... I can't see the point of going out to all this effort just to prank us. If this is another world, it would help ex it would help explain some things. Like why hasn't there been any sign of a rescue team? Not even a helicopter. It's not like this place is that remote. It has trails, a shrine, an old school. <clears throat> I don't want to hear this. Shuji falls silent after Ryu's outburst, but the implications are clear. We need to think about how we're going to get out of here. <laughs> Takuma, this isn't getting us anywhere. Shuji's just crying at this point. I'm sorry. QQ. Well, you heard it, Kunemon. You heard Kunemon. I suggest we reconvene somewhere else. Yeah, and besides, I'm getting hungry. And we should hear what the girls have to say. Those are all good points. Mm. Let's start with some something to eat. It's harder to think on an empty stomach. You said it, and man, am I starving. Maybe by now the girls will be in the cafeteria too. We can talk over breakfast. Oh, come to think of it, I still need to use the bathroom. Um, you guys go on ahead, okay? Why, something wrong, Takuma? I just need to use the bathroom. Be right there. Oh, okay. You could have just said so. Does that mean there's like pristine rolls of toilet paper? Or is there just like mildewy paper towel, uh, toilet paper? Uh, well, here comes another big conversation. Sounds like it started already. Huh? You're right. I can hear Shuji yelling something. Sounds pretty intense. Do you think something's wrong? Oh, God. Shuji has been a problem since he's gotten here. I'm telling you, it's a bad idea. We're just kids. Exploring could get us killed. We can't just sit around twiddling our thumbs, huh? We should at least look around. Indeed. Fully understanding one's situation is essential for survival. I'm I'm with Suji. It's safer in here than it is out there. And I'm grieving the old, but they're not taking the chances. Right. And I am not about to put any of you at risk. The professor wanted me to get all of you home safe. And that's... That's what I'll do. I don't know how to make it happen yet. But we're all gonna get back... We're all going back together. How are we gonna do that without looking around? Plus, we don't know that the professor's dead yet. So, we... 
Suji. That's true. No matter what we do, there's no way of knowing what might happen. Right. So, and if we're in danger either way, why not go on and try and find a way home? I can see your point, but you think it's really worth the extra risk? Any other thoughts, Ryu? <clears throat> He's been like that since yesterday. QQ. I guess we'll take that as a no then. Uh, Miyuki, Haru, what do you think we should do? I don't know. Don't know. Right then. So the three of you are not voting right now. Oh, Takuma, good timing. Well, so far our opinions been split down the middle. What's your take on this, Takuma? You want me to know what I think? Yeah. We should scout out the area or stay here and keep low profile. I like that. Let Takuma have the... Oh. Why you gotta be me? I don't know. It seems like a big decision. And we'll have to find out that decision next episode. I hope you all enjoyed watching. It seems like a really big decision. <laughs> but, like I said, next time we'll find out. You all take care. Bye. Bye! Count the shining stars in the sky. Warmth of nostalgic memories. Above us in the world all alone. Voices of the dead are all I hear. The flowers you for thee, the leaves you for 